Hello, it's Friday the 25th of February. My name is Neil Shearing. I'm the Group Chief Economist at Capital Economics and this is your week at Capital Economics. It's one where we have been looking in detail uh, at the unfolding events in Ukraine uh, and analysing all aspects of the economic and market consequences. Uh, those have inevitably will, will, will come to bear most heavily in Ukraine itself. And we've written several pieces on the the fallout uh, for markets in the economy there, also in Russia too, in the potential effects of, uh, effects of sanctions uh, on the Russian economy. Uh, we've been thinking uh, a lot about the impact on energy markets and commodity markets, uh, and also what that means for inflation in uh, the advanced economies. It could add as much as two percentage points to uh, inflation in OECD countries. And of course, that will uh, intensify the challenge facing central banks. Uh, importantly, we think we may have hit a tipping point where previously it may have been that higher energy prices would have contributed to a more hawkish shift by central banks because they were worried about inflation expectations becoming unanchored. Now, given the rapid es escalation in the conflict, we think actually they'll perhaps put, if anything, put a bit more weight on uh, keeping policy loose and supportive. Um, so if anything, we've gone from neutral to hawkish to neutral to dovish. That's an important shift. Uh, we've also been unpacking what all of this means for financial markets, for equities, for bonds, uh, good for the dollar, good for, uh, for some commodities like gold too. You can find all of our research on the unfolding crisis uh, on our website in one dedicated page. Uh, you can find that on our homepage. Uh, and also we hosted an event on Thursday where uh, more than a thousand clients tuned in uh, and we gave uh, our initial, initial assessments uh, of what all of this means for the global economy and for markets. Uh, we'll continue to write about this, of course, and keep you up to date over the coming days and weeks. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for reading, and have a good weekend. Goodbye.